So this isn't a video I normally do sitting in front of a camera and just talking but I've had a hell of a week so I thought I'd just rant and rave a little bit just to let you know what's really happening. Now all I do on this channel is show you guys how to do certain things with your TV box and some of it's interesting, some of it's probably not that interesting, some of it's probably quite boring but there is the MX box, this, this one here. Now this has the AML8726 dual core processor inside of it and I've never had one before but thanks to a, a Facebook member he, he sent me some and that was fantastic and I was able to produce that first um, tutorial on how to install LibreLec onto these boxes. That was two weeks ago now you know the Halloween special sort of thing and since then I've been racking my brains what else to do with this box so there is another device called the WeTech Play now that was a TV box that came out a long time ago and that featured the AML 8726-M processor and Logic weren't that great back then at naming their processors and I thought I wonder if we can get some of those developments working on the MX box there is Lacquer and there's also Lollipop as well interestingly enough it's an experimental version and I've searched high and low for the actual firmware, but thanks to a couple of um, subscribers and that, they, they pointed me in the right direction. Anyway, all week I've been trying to get those things working on this, on this box, and I've just not been very successful. I thought I could get Lacquer working, you know, very similar hardware, kind of to the Wii Tech Play, I guess. Some things work. I mean, TWRP works. Taking that uh, TWRP from... Uh, the WeTech Play that works on this box. So if you're interested, I shall leave a link in the description below. And if you want to use TWRP, maybe you're still using one of these things. I don't know. Um, I mean, up until 2017, there was still a lot of people talking about this. You know, talking about lots of different things. You know, can we do this? Can we do that? I mean, obviously, Kodi 17 was not compatible with the version of um, Android on this box, which was Jelly Bean or something. And so there was a lot of talk and um, not really much happened. I mean, it's nothing like the MXQS at a 5 where there was a huge boom in development around that. But anyway, I mean, if you've still got one of them, maybe you're still even using it. Maybe it's in your cupboard somewhere. Maybe you could get using it. Maybe you are a, a developer, maybe someone way more talented than me when it comes to that sort of thing, actually getting things working. Maybe you can take those developments and maybe get it working on these boxes. It would be interesting to see Lacquer, especially Lacquer working on this box. If you're not familiar with what Lacquer is, it is a dedicated operating system to playing your retro games. Um, so I'll be interested to see how a dual core processor like this old AML8726 would work. As well as that, there's a Lollipop as well, which was developed for the Wii Take Play. And although I've messed around over and over again, it's, it wants to install it onto this box. It does, it wants to install it, but there's, a, there's something that just stops it and it says no this isn't quite right for this board so I reckon it would work so um, I do reckon Lollipop would work and that is Cyanogen mod as well it's CM12 which is the Lollipop um, edition of Cyanogen obviously Cyanogen mod isn't around anymore it's been replaced by lineage lineage or something like that but yeah but still it's still a, an up-to-date operating system kind of and it would be interesting to see it running on this box although it is experimental. So I want to leave those links in the description to where you can actually get that. If you are a developer or you are you like tinkering around with stuff like that, you, you know kind of know what you're doing more than me because I'm not the best at that sort of thing. I'm better at doing these sort of videos and, show, and breaking things down and showing you guys how to actually install these developments rather than actually doing them. But um, on how to actually do stuff like that. But I've been trying and I've just not been very successful. Anyway, I'd love to see more stuff working on this little thing because, you know, you can pick these up really cheap nowadays and if they're hanging around on eBay or something like that and if there's stuff working on this or maybe you've got one lying around, it would be great to see stuff working on that. Anyway, so let me take you back a couple of a couple of weeks, actually a couple of months. Um, I was making a retro game coffee table, the Pine one. We've done a few here on the MXQ project and there was a Pine one I built. Now... <laughs> I had to sell it because I wanted to sell it so I could do something else for this channel, you know, build another table. And I managed to sell it just um, last week actually. And 
thought, fantastic, I've got some money in the bank now, I can go and do some more things, I can maybe buy some equipment, or I can go and build another coffee table, retro gaming coffee table, and um, do another video, another couple of videos to this channel, I thought, fantastic. Parcel Force, which is a courier company in the UK, took up the job of delivering it, and in the process, they destroyed it. They broke one of the legs. So far, um, as far as I'm aware, it's still on its way to the actual customer, and the customer has been fantastic about it. I really am grateful for a really understanding customer. And um, as far as I'm aware at the moment, it's still on its way. It was meant to be sent back to me um, for me to repair, and they've just not bothered. I've been on the phone to them and stuff like that, and they've they've just decided just to send it anyway. And hopefully, it's just a miscommunication. There wasn't a damaged leg, but anyway, it's going to get there today at about one o'clock, two o'clock. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that table has been just damaged or really badly damaged or destroyed even um, by Parcel Force. So if you're thinking about sending large items by Parcel Force, don't do it because they they not only is it hard to get in touch with them when things go wrong because i couldn't get in touch with them there's no one to talk to there and secondly you know you wrap these things up really really well cover it in tape say fragile 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 and they still managed to destroy it anyway i mean this is a wooden table solid wooden table and they managed to snap a leg the legs aren't exactly thin little things thick thick legs and they snapped it in two, by the sounds of it, at least. But anyway, we'll find out tonight um, when the um, custom, my, my customer unravels it. So, if you plan on using Parcel Force, don't do it. Now, yeah, that, that's pretty much my rant for this week. So, all week has just been an utter uh, stress ball because I've just not... Nothing's gone right. I've not been able to do any videos because everything I've tried has just failed horribly so if it fails i can't build a tutorial or anything around that and yeah so this is my video for this week and hopefully next week's things that things pick up or hopefully this table is sorted out and then i can get on with building something else uh, anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you very soon